Hey everyone, the Mediocre Pirate here. Uh, I just saw a Cutler Lover's uh, video uh, saying that he just got 50,000 uh, subscribers. That's ridiculous. First of all, uh, just like to th thank you for all the videos you've given out, and I think you deserve every single subscriber and view. And all your videos are awesome. I've been watching for years and uh, find them all extremely informative. But uh, I, you just wanted to, s you asked to uh, see people's uh, collections various uh, knife collections and I uh, thought you thought I'd just show mine um, I guess ever since I've been watching your videos uh, I've gotten more into knives and better knives in general so uh, let's take a look of course I've got them all in the sweater pack love it um, it's nice though being living so close to the spider factory outlet since I can just jump over there and get whatever I need but uh yeah so just really fast Got a Delica. This was one of my first uh, Spider Co's. Everybody knows that one. Great little knife. Recently got this one at the uh, Factory Atlas sale. Just the military. Um, this is the notch right there. They were like 45 bucks at the Factory Atlas sale. Definitely going to have to go a little earlier this uh, next year. Uh, just got this one in the mail. Spider Co. Uh, Kukri. This has actually been... Ever since I've gotten into Spartaco's, uh, I don't know why, but this model has attracted me. And finally saw it on Sierra Trading Post the other day for 97 bucks shipped, and I couldn't say no. So, love, love Ed Shemp's de Ed Shemp's designs. Um, also, one I never thought I'd ever get a Yojimbo. Uh, traded this one uh, a month or so back. Love it. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna EDC it. But uh, certain funky design shape and really love it. Uh, if you haven't held one of these, oh man, you're missing out. Um, it's moving down the line. Oh, the one that's normally here is in my pocket right now. Another one I got at the factory outlet sale is carbon fiber stretch. Um, is ridiculous. I got this for ten bucks. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, only thing I can find that's a little wrong, maybe some discoloration on the. Uh, the blade, I guess you can kind of see it there. Uh, that doesn't wipe away. And there's just little gaps, like right there and right there. But you know what? I, this makes a hell of a user knife. And it's my first uh, ZDP blade, and I'm loving this stuff. Um, but yeah, moving down. Um, <laughs> cheapo OTF. I uh, got this at a knife shop. It was like 20 bucks. and. I couldn't say no. Just more for the novelty factor than EDC, since it is illegal for us in Colorado to carry out the front knives. Uh, it's kind of great for police fire and EMT, but even though I am one, I still wouldn't want to. I still wouldn't want to try try it out. Um, yeah, moving on. Dragonfly Two. Uh, this just came out and bought it. It's got the jimping. I've got a review on this, by the way. Uh, love it though. Uh, really, really nice ultra lightweight. Uh, put this in my shorts when I'm running, or I just don't want to carry something heavy. Um, yeah. Yet again, another knife I got at the factory sale, outlet sale. Uh, Chicago. Uh, it's carbon fiber. Really love it. Uh, generally, if I carry a bigger knife like the Millie, uh, I carry a Chicago. So it's just a little more knife, non knife person friendly. Um, yeah, it's kind of don't like scaring people. Um, but yeah, moving down the line. Um, oh, so this one was actually given to me by my aunt uh, in France. Uh, it's a La Guillaume Arbalète. Kind of interesting pronunciation. But uh, Arbalète in French means uh, crossbow. Um, I guess this is in the uh, traditional La Guillaume style. Um, from what I understand, there are several different knife makers in France. Um, who make the uh, these knives. Of course, they're all generally this shape, and they've always got this uh, little B there. It's kind of a trademark. It's got some really nice uh, tool work. Um, the handle, the scales, rather, <laughs> are, uh, are plastic, but, you know, it's still a really nice knife. I really like this blade shape. It really makes for a nice, uh, for a nice uh, gentleman's knife. There's the uh, maker. Sorry, the text is all backwards. Uh, my normal camera messed up, and 
it's not working much. Uh, lock back, or slip joint, by the way. It's quite a stiff, stiff action, so it doesn't, I have no worries uh, for it closing on my hands. Uh, just these two knives, I got these for friends. Uh, I'm going to give them away. Just another military in uh, Chicago. Um, another little slip joint. Kiwi, Spyderco Kiwi. Um, this one I polished up. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it's, it's almost mirror polish. I'm still working on it. But I uh, just used some uh, 2000 grit sandpaper and some flits. and It really makes it look very nice. Um, you can see the reflection a little bit. I still want to work on it. Get it super polished. But uh, yeah, just a little project of mine. Another one of my uh, gentleman's folders, I guess you can call. Dress up. Um, great little knife. I love it. Especially for 20 bucks. Can't say no. Um, moving down the line, gotta roll it up a little bit, running out of space on my desk. All my uh, opinels. Uh, um, my parents are French. Um, I grew up speaking French, and uh, my first knives were opinel. Um, my we've got some family in France, and we go to visit them every once in a while, and uh, just bring back two, three of these every time. They're like seven euros there, which is about ten bucks nowadays. But uh, as you can see, I've got all different kinds of sizes. Um, this used to be on my keychain. It's a little number five. Just a carbon steel blade. Just classic, classic designs. I mean, these these were uh, designed, invented, and patented over a hundred years ago. Um, and uh, it really hasn't changed since. Uh, this is the number uh, seven, by the way. Um, and I think this was one of my very first ones, number eight. You can see the blade is all chew, torn, chewn up. <laughs> Can't talk. Man, studying for five hours really takes it out of you. So <laughs> the blade is all scratched up and uh, tarnished, but I really like the look. Uh, I think this got set down near a fire and it had a, you know, a couple burn marks. And I drilled in a little lanyard hole. That's... One of the things that's missing, in my opinion, from these, but uh, great little knives, by the way. Uh, another one, drilled another lanyard hole. Um, this is a slimmer profile one. Uh, I think Koglin's, something like that, just branded. You can see little, the difference between the blade, sh uh, between the blade shapes. Uh, this one's just slimmer. Uh, just great little knives, cheap. Uh, you know, I think like ten bucks a piece. They're they're worth it. Um, so finally, one I found. Um, this was pretty much rusted out. Uh, the lock locking mechanism was rusted shut. I couldn't even rotate it. Uh, this is one of the older ones because you can see it doesn't have the cutout for you to lock the blade closed, like uh, this one. You can see how this bezel or ring or whatever can lock and it prevents it from opening. So one of the older ones, but uh. Modified this one a little bit, and uh, <laughs> still still needs some work. Um, you can see it's a lot different. Uh, this is a number eight, so the blade used to be exactly that shape. So you can see I took off quite a bit. Um, it was rusty. It was pretty dull. Uh, this is the Inox version. Uh, Inox in French, stainless, um, pretty much. Uh, I I still plan to get it a little sharper, um, maybe reshape this handle. Uh, I ground down this part a little bit, but uh, drew a little line here. I might cut it this way so it uh, when it does when it is closed, I don't have so much extra handle because um, you can see the knife blade pretty much ends right there. So I might just cut off a little bit and glue on a nice little piece of mahogany and uh, sand it down a little bit and make it really nice, but uh, probably refinish it, Lindsay oil or something but yeah otherwise um, actually I think I might have yeah some good friends of mine um, from the forums got me this recently of course the uh, Izula uh, great little knife I love it in my opinion stock sheath is worthless um, it's really soft I can scratch it with my fingernail it's ridiculous um, yeah there you go you can see that scratch I just made uh, just with my fingernail. But uh, I think it's almost, uh, it comes in this kit with, you can get the 
ricarda scales or just a skeletonized knife and the sheath and i think it's totally worth the extra few bucks just to get the ricarda scales it makes it fit a lot nicer in the hand but uh anyways that's more or less my collection um it's always growing uh hope to get more but uh yet again thanks for all your videos jeff uh really appreciate watching them over the years and uh i've learned a lot um doing just watching and uh keep the great keep the good work up and uh yeah, can't thank you enough. Uh, thanks for watching and yeah, bye.